What's going on my friends out there and welcome to Gamers with Games. Now, I want to talk about Cloud being in Super Smash Brothers. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party. The news has been out for a little bit about over a week now, but this is still a big topic of discussion because it means a lot more other things than just simply Cloud from Final Fantasy VII being in Super Smash Brothers on a Nintendo console. The type of like crazy kind of, you know, shocking reactions that we all got out of that when we saw it during the Nintendo Direct was astounding. It was a big mic drop moment for a lot of people. And that comes with it a whole bunch of other topics. But what I want to talk about in particular is what does this actually mean for companies in the industry? What does it mean for us in the game and the gaming community, the consumers that are out there? What does it mean for the type of games we can look forward to years down the line? What really Cloud and Super Smash Brothers shows is the kind of like line that used to be black and white in the industry for a very long time in between like, you know, the different relationships between companies. That started to blur and become a lot more gray than just simply black and white. At this point in time, you know, like any of us could have ever imagined, you know, only not even a couple of years ago, it's starting to seem now that a lot more companies are willing to work together with each other in order to get cross promotion going on between their different titles or their different systems. With Cloud being in Super Smash Bros., Cloud has been primarily a PlayStation character associated with the PlayStation brand ever since the PlayStation 1. That pretty much has, comes from the stemming of Nintendo's failed relationship with Square Enix back in the early 90s. Originally used to be Final Fantasy titles only appeared on the Nintendo console, the NES and the Super NES, but that changed during the advent of the N64 and the PlayStation 1. And then from that point on, you only had a lot of numbered Final Fantasy titles that were on exclusively Sony consoles. But with things changing now, more often now in this day and age and this console generation, we're finally able to see something that we never thought was possible for many years actually be happening in the flesh. And that's awesome. It's a great time to be a gaming fan, great time to be a consumer, someone who buys video games, and even a great time to be a critic and an analyst of the industry, because we're starting to see a really huge shift in how things used to be for a very long time. This opens up the door for a variety of different things. We could also now, there's a possibility to see other characters from other platforms appear on different platforms as well, you know, particularly in this case, Nintendo platforms. Who's to stop anyone from saying that Banjo-Kazooie can't appear in Super Smash Brothers? I mean, Microsoft, I believe it was Larry Herb, or I believe it was Aaron Greenberg, came out and said that he wouldn't mind actually working with Nintendo in order to give fans of Banjo-Kazooie what they want. Because, exclusively for that character, Banjo-Kazooie has always been associated with Nintendo platforms because of Rare's first titles being on the N64. Granted, now the company is owned by Microsoft, you know, all these different types of relationships and this willingness to work together opens up that door as building that bridge. So we could realistically see something like that happen as a surprise announcement. Who's to stop that from happening now at this point? Not many other people thought someone like Cloud would appear in Super Smash Brothers. A lot of people were willing to bet someone like Sora or even a, just a generic Final Fantasy character from like the Crystal Chronicles series would ever be able to appear in something like that. But this goes beyond even just Super Smash Brothers. Who, what's to say that we can't get a Microsoft and Sony kind of collaboration sometime in the nearby future? Who's to say that maybe, uh, what is it, Sony will go out and decide to do a PlayStation All-Stars all over again and be able to use some of these different third-party companies that are being bought up by different platforms and different console makers to actually have more of their characters get together, much like everybody initially wanted the first time around. Or even to, who's to stop Microsoft from actually doing the same thing or something similar? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think we're going to be seeing Mario or Link on an Xbox One or a PlayStation console anytime soon. I think that's a little bit way too far out, and I think there's a lot more uh, type of uh, gaming politics that goes in with that, as well as business practices. However, again, a lot of these third-party characters that have been really associated with one particular platform are starting now to appear in various other platforms and all over the place. Who's also to say? Because of the cloud announcement with Smash Brothers, what's to stop anybody from actually, or to stop Square in particular, putting the Final Fantasy VII HD remake on the NX? Or even, again, bringing it to PC, because I know they've been doing a lot of PC stuff. You know, who's also to say that we won't get other characters? Again, Solid Snake appearing in Smash Brothers as well, because he was on Brawl, who's to stop from appearing again? Granted, the whole debacle that's going on with Konami. But again, my point is, is that a lot of the lines of which we thought were kind of like really defined in the sand between a lot of the console makers or even just a lot of companies in general, because of the politics and the business between the different types of platforms we have out there, they're starting to become blurred now. And things that we thought that were never possible before are actually happening. So 
That's just my thoughts on the matter, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think of this. What other characters do you want to see come up in like different mashup games? What type of collaboration titles or games do you want to see done between the different companies? Do you want an Xbox versus PlayStation type of collaboration game? Do you want to see certain kind of characters that are exclusive to the Xbox brand, the PlayStation brand, or Nintendo brand appear in another title for a different platform? Let me know, guys, and I will talk to you guys again real soon. Peace out. Stay epic, everybody.